Hello friends, welcome back to Dainty Gifts School of Decor and Decoupage. Today I wanted to film a short guide to how you can print your own decoupage pictures. We're going to have a quick look at different types of printers and papers that you can use with them. The first thing that you're going to want to figure out is what type of printer it is that you have. Whether you're printing at home or you're going to a friend's house or you're going to go to a library or a printing shop, wherever it is that you're going, you want to figure out what type of printer you're going to use. What most people have at home is an inkjet printer. Those are the normal standard printers that you can buy from most normal shops. I know here in UK you can buy printers from a supermarket even. They are usually readily available for you to just go in the shop and pick it up. The other type of printer that is commonly used is a laser printer. Those are usually the big printers that you will see in offices, libraries, printing shops. So them big things with big scanners and where you can make copies. So those are the printers that will most likely be in your local printing shop or in your local library or in the office at your work somewhere like that. Some people will also have laser printers at home. You can get smaller versions like a desktop version of a laser printer to use at home but if you happen to have one of them chances are you probably bought it for a reason and you already know that you have a laser printer. First of all we'll talk about inkjet printers so the printers that most people will have at home. That's the printer that I currently have at home as well and that's the printer that I use to print almost all of my pictures that I use for decoupage. The biggest problem with having an inkjet printer and printing pictures for decoupage with it, it's liquid and it doesn't seal itself. So if you're gonna use normal office paper to print something, and then you're going to apply water on it or glue or varnish, anything like that. Ink will start running and your picture will smudge and you won't be able to see anything. The trick that I personally use to stop my ink from bleeding is using photo paper. Specifically, I personally prefer gloss photo paper because I think that colours look nicer on gloss paper. But it's completely up to you which one you decide to use. So let me show you. So this is the uh, paper that I've been using lately. This is... Kodak photo paper, just gloss 180 GSM, nothing special, just the one that I was able to find in my local shop. In fact, when you're buying photo paper for printing decoupage pictures, the cheaper and thinner the paper is, the better it's going to be because then it's going to be easier for you to use it. The thicker the paper, the harder it's going to be for you to work with it. What you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that of course you print on the glossy side so on the actual photo side not on the side that is kind of matte and has no like photo paper covering on it so make sure that you place it the right way around when you're printing something and the way that it works is that this photo paper side it seals the ink on the inside and then when you apply water or glue or varnish onto it it does not bleed, the ink stays right in there. I've used this technique many, many times, especially throughout the lockdown. I have not been able to go to print shops or libraries or anything to be able to print on thinner papers. So I've just been printing my own papers at home. Of course, the issue with photo paper is that it is quite thick. So you have to get creative when you're masking the borders if you're not um, decoupaging it from you know from edge to edge. I personally like to use molds and different trims to hide those borders. Um, if you're looking for more inspiration you're welcome to have a look through my channel. I have done so many different videos using photo paper and masking the edges. There's plenty to look through. I also have a specific video tutorial showing how to use photo paper, kind of a talk through video. I will link it down below for you so you can have a look if you're interested, if you've never seen anybody use photo paper for decoupage. Another thing that I wanted to mention, when you're using an inkjet printer to print your pictures, make sure that you go into your printer settings before you print, so on your computer before you send your picture to print. Make sure that you adjust your printing settings to the highest standard that you can possibly get. So I usually go into like the specific preference tab as well and just make sure that everything is set to the highest standard and also I make sure to change the settings from just normal printing to printing photo on photo paper so that's on your computer just make sure that you get the best settings that you can possibly get 
I've also seen a lot of people in Facebook decoupage groups saying that they print pictures using their normal inkjet printer and just on normal office paper, so on thin paper, but then they spray it with hairspray, I believe, and then let it dry for like a day or two, and then it supposedly doesn't run. However, I have not tried that personally, so I would not be able to tell you whether it's actually true or false. But if you happen to know if it works or not, or if you have any other suggestions, tips or tricks or anything like that, make sure to leave those in the comments below for others to read as well. So if you have an inkjet printer or only have access to an inkjet printer, then photo paper is the way to go. Now let's talk about laser printers. The best thing about laser printers is that laser ink doesn't run, so you can print on anything. So if you wanted to print on rice paper, you can print on rice paper. If you want to print on a napkin, you can print on a napkin. You can print on normal office paper, you can print on anything you like, and then do whatever you want with that paper. Soak it in water if you want to, it's not going to run. The ink is not going to go anywhere. So that, of course, allows you a lot more freedom in terms of the papers that you can use. The con, of course, is that if you don't have access to a friend laser printer or one at home and you can only go to a print shop or a library to use a laser printer, then you probably won't be able to get them to, you know, sort you out with some rice paper or napkins or like put napkin inside of their printer. I don't think that they will allow something like that. In which case, if you only have access to a public uh, laser printer, then of course you can only print on normal office paper. And of course, laser printers aren't specifically designed to print out uh, graphics or print out photos. They're not made for that. Laser printers are typically made for, you know, a lot of printing, like a lot of office paperwork. And since they are not made specifically for printing out graphics or photos or anything like that, the quality of the picture that you get might not be as great as you will get on an inkjet printer. I'm personally looking into buying my own laser printer at the moment. And I've been speaking to a, a printer shop online, um, just asking them what kind of printer would be best for me to buy out of their laser printers. And still, even though I explained to them that it has to be a laser printer, um, they still said that if you want to print the graphics, then you should probably look into an inkjet printer, which of course, I already have one. And there you go. So this is your basic guide to printing your own decoupage pictures at home. I hope that you found this helpful. Like I already said, please do let us know if you have any other input on this topic, if you have any other tips or tricks on how to seal your inkjet printouts or if you have any other knowledge on how you can print things at home, then let us know as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, shared it, if you think it might be helpful for somebody else. Lots of love from my house to yours, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!